Do you have the desire to work and earn higher in dollars, live in a comfortably safe environment, and enjoy the amazingly beautiful topography of Canada? If yes, this video is for you. Hello and welcome to yet another intriguing episode on your favorite YouTube channel, Canada Migrates. Today's video promises to be enlightening, educating, and practical as we'll be looking at fast and easy ways to obtain a work permit as well as the steps you need to take in actualizing your dream. There has been a recent economic boom in Canada and with our economic growth comes a shortage of indigenous manpower. To bridge this gap, the Canadian government has opened its immigration stream to attract foreign professionals with experience and technical know-how to be employed by Canadian employers of labor. Like it is said, earning is living. And to work in Canada as a foreigner, you need a work permit. So, if you're interested in working in Canada, but you have been finding it difficult to obtain a Canadian work permit, keep watching. Before we proceed, have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? If you haven't, kindly click the subscription button below. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon so as to be alerted anytime we publish a new video. Let's find out what a work permit is. A Canadian work permit is a legal document issued by the Canadian government to the eligible individual to work in Canada for a specific period of time. Once an applicant has secured a job with an eligible Canadian employer, the employer is required to obtain a Labour Market Impact Assessment LMIA, from Employment and Social Development Canada. Basically, there are two types of Canadian work permit and they are the Open Work Permit and the Employer Specific Work Permit. An open work permit allows you or any foreigner to work for any eligible Canadian employer of labor without restriction. This simply means that if you have an open work permit, you can decide to change your job or your employer at any given time. You are not restricted to working only for one employer. Perhaps you are thinking, with the liberty that comes to the open work permit, every foreigner should have an open work permit. Well, it sounds good, but not 100% possible because of the eligibility requirements. This takes us to our next point. Who can apply for an open work permit? 1. Applicants with post-graduation work permit. 2. Persons with bridging open work permit. 3. Persons with Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program Spousal Permit. 4. Applicants with World Youth Program Permit. And 5. Persons with Temporary Residence Permit. What are the eligibility requirements? Applicants must meet the general requirements such as language proficiency and equivalent education qualification. Applicants must show proof that he or she is willing to adhere to the rules and regulations or conditions of the work permit. Applicants must prove to the IROCC that he has the financial capacity to support himself as well as those coming along with him. He or she must submit his or her medical clearance to a designated Canadian medical center. Applicants are also required to submit police clearance as proof of no criminal past record. Let's take a look at the employer-specific work permits. This work permits to street holders from working for more than one Canadian employer of labor. The order of this work permit can only work for a specific employer. To be eligible for the employer-specific work permit, applicants must meet the following requirements. Applicants must prove to the officer that he or they will exit Canada at the expiration of their work permit. Applicant must show proof that he or she is not a national threat. He or she must show proof of clear health or medical record. Applicants are required to be law-abiding individuals and provide every required document to immigration officers as proof before entering Canada or at the point of entry. Applicants must not work for employers of labor who are not allowed to employ foreigners. Applicants must show proof of legitimacy. What are the documents required to apply for a work permit? You need a valid passport, a medical result from an approved medical center, education qualification certification, proof of certification and work experience, a bank statement or proof of finance, and a passport size photograph. Isn't it amazing to know that the Immigration Refugee Citizenship Canada IROCC, can get your work permit application processed within two weeks? Wow! Although processing time for a work permit varies, the fastest way of obtaining a Canadian work permit is through the Global Skills Strategy GSS as long as your application is eligible. 
The global steel strategy is divided into two. Those who require Labor Market Impact Assessment, LMIA, and those who do not require Labor Market Impact Assessment. Let's take a look at the requirements for LMIA application. The application must be done outside of Canada. Applicant employers must have a positive LMIA through the global talent stream of the Temporary Foreign Worker Program. If your application is processed in two weeks, you are required to indicate this on your application. Now, for those who do not require the Labor Market Impact Assessment, you must meet the following requirements. Your application must be done outside of Canada and online. Your Canadian employer must have submitted an offer of employment using the government's employer portal and also pay the employer compliance fee. Finally, your job in the National Occupational Classification NOC must either be skill type 0 managerial or skill type A professional. Additionally, the International Mobility Program IMP allows employers in Canada to hire foreign workers on a temporary work permit without needing to obtain a labor market impact assessment. That being said, certain conditions might lead to application rejection and they are 1. If an applicant is not eligible to apply through the global steel strategy streams such as Express Entry International Canada Experience Applicants. 2. Extension of certified translation of your documents that are not in English or French. 3. If the application is done inside Canada. 4. Incomplete application. And 5. Paper application. Finally, we have successfully explained in full details how to obtain a work permit in two weeks through the International Mobility Program, as well as all the necessary information you need as regards to this. If you're interested in getting more Canadian latest updates, then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification icon so as to be alerted anytime we publish a new video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.